so when i was a student like you i want to explore vlsi industry but there was no one who can explain me everything like all the bit and pieces of vlsi design and also there was no perfect course design for giving us a bird eye view not all the concepts but from above like what is happening there right we need to know and then only we can decide hey these things i love these things i don't love and we can choose our perfect career but we have a good news today and that is we have a great brand new nbtl course launched in this july semester and the enrollment is still open and two years before i made this video and that was one of the most popular video in my channel where i discussed about 10 most best free resource available in the internet today but i think this course which we're gonna discuss in this today's video in detail have all the potential to make their name in that perfect list of 10 best vlsi resources and that is nothing but your vlsi design flow rtl to gds brought to you by triple it delhi and by the professor snare show so in this video i'll go through all the things prerequisites who can take it and also i will discuss about other VLSI courses which are open for enrollment in, in this semester of NPTEL and I have divided them in three categories like beginner, intermediate and advanced level. Also I will tell you in which level this VLSI design flow RLO GDS is. But before going there see I never have taken this course because this course is being newly launched and also I have never taken any course by this professor unfortunately he is from Triple IT Delhi and I have never uh, studied there so how to be sure that this is a perfect course or not one way is just go through the introductory video and you will get to know the professor's vibes it is, is it matching with you or not and also you can go through the course and if you see the course layout it is very fascinating right you just need to have few prerequisites for example your digital electronics uh, basics of networks like your circuits and then you are good to go to start this course so in week one we are discussing all about like in in rough scenario or in bird's eye view scenario the vlsi technology fabrications week two we are actually going through the rtl to gds implementation right and also surprisingly we also have a very log like in one week only he will recap your very log so that means Verilog is also a prerequisite for taking this course. And the good news is that Verilog is also flawed in this semester. So you can take Verilog from IIT, um, from IIT Kharagpur and you can parallelly do this both of these courses. But I'll go there a little later. Uh, let us see the course structure. Also you see in week 7 we have static timing analysis, we have power analysis and mostly we have everything. This week 10 we have DFT. So you have everything in this 12 week course, only three months. So you need only three months to know the fundamental of VLSI design flow. Yeah, 12 months is not enough to know everything going de in depth. But we want to know, right, I, in the beginning only I have told you that we want to know the gist of the thing, how things are happening, right? And this course is perfect for that. Also to verify that if this course is great or not, uh, in his video, introductory video, he has given us one of the book he is referring for this course. So I thought, hey, let me order that book, read that book. And if that book is perfect, because that is the content, right? He is taking content from that book. And I have that book actually. It I received this book. I received this book one month before, and I have reading it quite intensively. And I can tell you, you must have this book because, as I said, like you can take this course for sure. But this book can be your manual to know everything. It have everything actually. I don't know how he in this this much how many pages are there. Uh, yeah in 680 in around 650 pages he had compiled the full vlsi flow as a fresher you need nothing more than this much and best thing is that if you just go to the summary or the content then in the first 100 pages only he will give you the full overview and after that from part 2 onward he will start with modeling your hardware using very log like your logic design so in logic de design, we have verification steps like formal ver verifications, simulation waste verification, then logic optimization, also power management. And then he, in the third part, he will go to your DFT. And in the fourth part, he will go to the physical design. And I know in this 12 week course, we mostly he won't be covering the full book. 
but i think you should register for this course and also you buy this book and these two will be a great complimentary to kickstart your vlsi career and also let me clear to you that this is not a sponsored video and i hope someday he will sponsor me for <laughs> this book but yeah this is not not a sponsored book i am just referring from my perspective i have found this thing good so i thought i should share it, it with you i'll share all the link in my description like this intro video also and the last date to enrollment for this course it is 31st july and today is 16 july when i am recording so you have few days and one good thing is that that the course will start from 24 july 24 july onward right and the first week content are already out right and how nptl go like in nptl for the first two week they will give you assignments and for those assignment you will have roughly two or three weeks deadline to submit those assignment but once the third week start or fourth week start in every week you need to submit your assignment and that is very hectic so better to start early like start now only finish your week one now week two also i think next week he'll release the week two so so finish those concept write down your assignment and be ready for week three one one now this course is free to be taken but to get a certification you need to pay 1000 rupees and that is very minimum trust me it is very minimum and i will suggest you please go and register for this course there are many reasons right you will tell hey uh, i'll get all the concept for free then why to sub or why to pay the amount one thing is that you'll get a certificate you will say certificate have no value so that is another video topic like is it having a value or not but other than certificate c from my own experience every time you take a course like nptl this is the extra course you have your job probably or you have your college curriculum or some other task for sure from third or fourth week onward you will lag behind you will try to just ignore this course because you have paid nothing there is no commitment but you can only finish a course 99% of probability if you paid some money so that's why it's must it's for sure you should register for exam now only and then only you can finish the course for sure so after that let us see what all other courses available in this semester uh, for vlsi student uh, to be taken and those are c in the beginning level like uh, you can't go directly and take vlsi design flow if you are in second and first year of btech you need to finish few things right like digital electronics as i said and good thing is that in nptl this semester they are floating these two courses actually uh, let me go there yeah uh, introduction to semiconductor devices all the semiconductor physics will be dealt there by the IT hyderabad links are in the description you can go register and why to register these things are available in youtube to be seen anytime but you will finish only if you register so register pay the money and register and give the exam then only you can verify your knowledge you'll also get the rank probably also top topper of nptl can be recommended for internship so there are many opportunities actually by writing like if you keep on writing nptl exam uh, also for vlsa design for digital electronics is important and i think digital electronics is there but i'm not recommending because uh, according to me i don't find that professor uh, good enough sorry but uh, not good enough but yeah not in my test so that's why i'm not recommending that but if digital electronics you don't know then you must need to revise that to take that vlsi design flow and in intermediate level as i said verilog is up and running this semester so you can go for verilog by iit kharagpur then analog electronic circuit by iit delhi very important basic intermediate level course and then this vlsi design flow also according to me come in intermediate level vlsi design flow for sure you should register if you have the prerequisites and on advanced level vlsi interconnect if you wanna um, choose your career in backend you are in your m tech then probably this this course will entertain you vlsi interconnect and don't go for all the courses like i am i am suggesting here you around six courses don't go for all the courses just take one register for one if you are in your third and fourth year or in your m tech if you are in your first or second year of BTEC, go for two. Register for two of the courses and that is great or good to go. And there is another important thing in VLSI and that is your making your hand dirty or doing some projects. If you ask any senior who have placed in a very good industry and if you take their CV, then there would be few projects who's, who's, which are common across all the CV. If you want to know what are those projects, then you can check out this video. Here I have discussed about 
those common project which should be in your CV to make your CV stand in this job market. So that's all for today's video. I'll see you next. And till that time, check out this video and tata. Bye bye.